now live from the Geico Fox Sports Radio Studio. Oh, here he is, folks. Here he is. Ben Maller. Hey, what's up, ladies and germs? It's your boy, Danny, here. Now, a few things we need to talk about. Um, So, one, um, now, in my last few videos, I was getting a little sick. Um, And, uh, yeah, so it was just really a cough and um, and nothing other than that. And I started feeling a little bit better, uh, you know, after, like, three, four days. And then, I don't know, Thursday, I hit a wall. I had to leave work before lunch, and uh, I had a 101.4 fever. So I don't know what the hell happened. I think I got the flu, but I'm, I'm not a doctor, so what the hell do I know? Um, but, uh, yeah, I just hit the wall. I hit a wall, which is uh, coincidentally the same day that Amber uploaded. So um, she went a wall that whole time. You know, I was just waiting. I was like, you know what? You know, today she's going to upload. Today she's going to upload because I was going to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to, you know, react to the last day of Vlogmas because who knows, she could, you know, she could be doing whatever because I don't follow her uh, socials or anything. So, I mean, I probably could have checked up on her, but I was too busy, you know, in my own freaking world. Oh, my God. I don't even rem remember what happened Friday and Saturday. Oh, I, I was so out of it. I was so lightheaded. Oh, my God. I had NyQuil. Oh, my God. It was. It was not good. It was not good. But uh, we're back. Um, she's only uploaded two videos, so I'm going to get those done uh, today just so, um, you know, I can upload this one tonight and then upload the uh, next one tomorrow. And um, hopefully she can get on a consistent basis to where I can start reacting to uh, her videos as they come out. And I think that will be, uh, be good um, for uh, both of us. So, uh, yeah. So uh, without further ado, um, it's 2023. So happy new year to everyone. I don't know why I just had to further ado when I was going to the happy new year. Um, so, uh, hopefully you guys made some, uh, New Year's revelations, and, uh, the, uh, you know, you guys are still sticking to it, you guys can do it. This one, this is the year that you got, you're gonna stick to the revelation. This is the year. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's, uh, get right into this, but, uh, before we do, just, uh, make sure to hit, uh, if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button, sub uh, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and, uh, Twitter and Patreon are in the link below, hey, so, uh, do, do, do that, video. do that thing. So this video is just going to be weight loss related. I think I forget how to talk yes. to a camera. It's been a while. I needed a little break. I know. It's kind of weird. You know, considering I almost so died. Not really. And I know some people get to have time off around the holidays. I know some people don't. Um, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to do so. So I just needed time. And I haven't known how to come back. I was going to come back on... The second or the third. Okay, so she is going to... Hold on, I just got to move. I need to move my keyboard closer because I'm not trying to, you know, extend my arm out all the way just to pause like, the dang video. Let me just have a couple more days. But this video is strictly just weight loss content video Good. type style. Because this, this video is on the shorter side, okay, so, so at least it's going to be jam-packed with content, so even though it's shorter. New year, we will start weekly weigh-ins again. I will yes. be filming... My weigh-ins every Sunday. Well, I will be weighing in every Sunday. Um, today is definitely not a Sunday. Sunday was on the 1st, and today's the 4th. So I am behind on filming, but I do want to get this first weigh-in out. So you guys know my starting weight for the new year. Regardless of when you guys see the video, I will be filming a weekly weigh-in, is what I'm trying to say. And with the weekly weigh-in, I want to talk about, you know, how much weight I lost within the week or gained or... If I stay the same or how I'm doing, I also want to. I'm really curious to see how much uh, her weight has fluctuated between you know her absence. So we'll, we'll see because that that will really dictate if she's been on track or not. You know if she's you know. Include a correspondence with me and you guys. Because usually like Amber is all like you know turning over a new leaf. You know this one's gonna be different. I'm gonna start fresh. It's a new day. You know, she's all into that stuff, so, I mean, she should all be all up on the new year, new me thing right now, so. I'm going to go on Instagram before I film these videos, and I am going to ask you guys to ask me, or I'm going to suggest to you guys, or give you guys the opportunity to ask me weight-related questions. I did do this last year, and I thoroughly enjoyed oh, it. Oh, man. I don't know why. Kind of sad I missed that. Should have been there. But I do enjoy... 
making these types of videos and answering questions for you guys and just opening up with you guys a little bit more. So I'm going to do the five questions first and then we can get into the weigh-in and what I'm doing, how I'm losing weight, my New Year's resolution for how much I want to lose this year. So let's get into it. There it is. The first question I'm going to be answering is, did you have a lot of loose skin before when you lost weight? And if you guys don't know, there was a time where I was down 106 pounds and I didn't have loose skin yeah. per se. She, she wouldn't have lost as I didn't start seeing my skin until I started getting to like, you know, somewhat, somewhat healthy, you know, like the, like the quote unquote healthy weight for your, you know, your gender age and height and all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're going down from like 400 down to 300 or even like 300 down to like 200, I was, I was seeing that, you know, like, okay, here's the thing. I, it was, it was a very, I had a very difficult time. Um, how, how should I put this? I had a really difficult time, um, telling myself that it's not fat. It's loose skin. It's, you know, it's loose skin because there's a time where like, I'm, st I'm still squishy. Okay, I'm like 160 pounds. I, yeah, I, I didn't even really start seeing the skin until maybe like maybe like 200 pounds, and that was already once I lost like 150, 160. So um, yeah, you're not really gonna see it until you actually like get to you know probably like f like 40 or 30 or 40 pounds above your like the the top tier of your recommended weight, you know. So tell like. I've lost weight. There was more movement in my skin. It wasn't like swollen. Kind of like when a balloon like loses its air. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. I experienced knee pain. I'll give that metaphor like a six out of 10. So I remember as a little girl, um, I don't know, 13 or something, a teacher randomly asked me, this is a memory that I will never forget. Do your knees hurt from your weight? That's what the teacher asked me, and you would think I'm lying to you, but I will never forget that moment because in my head, I was like, what does she mean? Because at 13, yes, I was in the 300s, and... That's still a pretty simple question. I, I mean, even when I was 13, I knew that, you know, my legs hurt more when I walked. You know, it's like, I, I, I at 13, I knew that, you know, I can't walk as fast... Like, I could see the other kids playing sports, and I couldn't see that. She could see, all the, like, the cheerleaders and see, you know, I don't know. I've always I'd been okay. I don't big. know. I've always been super morbidly obese. That's still, that, see, that seems like a simple question to ask, you know, like, for a 13-year-old that's, you know, been overweight their whole life like I was. It, it was a simple question to me. Like, I mean, yeah. Like, it, it, like I can't, I, it hurt. My legs hurt. My legs used to hurt after running, like, five minutes. You know, of course, you know, my knees would hurt. I had struggles. Besides the typical bullying, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I never had any weight issues, like, at 13 especially. So, I remember when I was asked that, in my head I was like, am I going to start, like, feeling pain because of my weight? Like, I was so confused. But still, to this day, I do. Yeah, but I mean, I, okay. At this point, I, ha I have flat feet and I would, um, you know, I would, my feet would always hurt. My feet would always hurt, and I think I have flat feet because I was overweight. I don't know if I was born with flat feet, um, but uh, yeah, like my feet would always hurt, and I would have to put in inserts. And it's like, you know, I mean, I, I, that there's like a direct causation from my weight affecting, you know, my, my, my feet hurting. So, like, yeah, it was easy for me, but I don't know, I don't know, like, I would, I wouldn't say knees first. I'd say feet. Because, again, like, if you're that, again, if you're, you know, this is 200 pounds on a 13-year-old child. It's not 200 pounds on an adult. So, 200 pounds on a 13-year-old child is going to be 10 times harder on the feet than an adult's feet. You know what I mean? So. And I remember that teacher also was like, do your ankles hurt? And I was just, in my head, I was like, what does this mean? But um, I do have random pain because I do have lipedema and it does make my legs hurt but I don't have typical like oh ankle pain or knee pain or joint pain that's something oh, man. I guess I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I don't experience next question wow. is jinx you owe me a soda why do you buy so many clothes at your current size if you want to lose weight so that is very true that is very true that is one thing that actually I never really thought of wow 
<laughs> wow, I never really thought about that because that's one thing that people really don't understand is that you're going to you're going to waste a lot of money buying clothes all the way on the way down. You know, cuz it's not you're not trying to wear, you know, like like your old clothes. You're not trying to wear like you know, like tarps, you know what I mean? You know, it's like because a lot of people think that yeah. the clothes that I buy is already too small. So if that is the case, then that means with tons of weight loss, I will still be able to wear the clothes that I am currently buying. I'll take dodge the question for 500, Alex. Oh my, that you didn't answer them at all. Something but I okay. Do notice about, you know. I mean that that does I, well, I mean you kind of did, but like just saying, yeah, I'm just going to grow into them is like uh yeah, but I mean, you're literally going to have like then you're going to have 300 shirts at that one freaking size that you're literally only going to be able to wear for a few months if that if you're actually trying to lose weight because like you're, I mean, the bigger you are, the more, the more weight you're going to lose in a shorter amount of time. So you're going to be wearing two XL shirts a lot longer than you are for a four XL shirt. And you're going to be wearing a two XL shirt a lot longer than you'd be wearing a, uh, or sorry, you're going to be wearing a one XL shirt a lot longer than you'd be wearing a two XL shirt. If that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. Large chunks of weight. It's not like I'm just like gaining, losing the same 10 pounds. It's like large chunks of weight, which is really, really bad for your body bad for your health i know but something i've noticed about yes and no. is that my clothes never change like my sizes never change not really so that is why i don't find any issue in buying clothes because the clothes that i wear now i wore at my heaviest at 572 but i also wore at my low lowest at 466 so it's what how are you trying, you're trying to say that you're wearing the same size shirt within like a hundred pounds difference. There's no way. There is no way. That, that's a, uh, there's no way. I do not believe that one bit. Sorry, I didn't know. That's why it doesn't really matter to me. I think that once I get in the 300s, um, especially like mid 300s, that's when I need to slow my roll and be like, whoa, okay, your your size has changed. But with the size that I am now, what? I have to lose like a drastic amount of weight for it to be noticeable within my clothing. So Again, I don't I don't know women's clothing that much. I I mean I only I only I don't I don't know. I was gonna make a joke, but like it was <laughs> wasn't gonna be funny. Um, but uh, yeah. I don't know women's clothing, but again, just with my frame of reference, with this, which is just logic, um, it, it doesn't make sense that, that that's still a hundred pounds of fat that has to go somewhere, and there's no way that 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 you know it it can withstand that. I don't know. Clothing. Next question is why won't you show us your lipedema or lymphedema? I will not show that because it is something I'm very self-conscious about and I know the type of people who watch me. Like, me just showing my face, I get called a moon, a sun, you know, people make fun of how I look, they make fun of me. Hey, they say you shine like the sun. Take it like that. You shine like the sun. You're as beautiful as a moon on a on the darkest, brightest, uh, darkest, clearest night sky. I was going to say dark, I don't know. Take it like that. And those are just like the simplistic things. Then the simplistic things. Of my arms and my stomach, my abdomen. Then we get into my legs, and that is where majority of my lipedema is. I do have it in my stomach and just the tiniest bit of my arms, but I do have it in those spots. And it's like, why would I want to put myself through that when I can barely even like go to the doctor and show them? Why would I want to? show thousands of people online who already actively make fun of my body and how I look. If you ignore them, they will realize that they're not getting anything from you and then they're just wasting their time going and commenting every single every single time when you're not giving them the time of day and then they feel like the idiot. That's how you do it. I'm not going to put myself in that position. Last question. If Ozempic causes gallstones, wouldn't weight loss surgery do the same? So I had gallstones. I was first diagnosed uh, like 21 after rapidly losing 60 pounds. And I've had gallstone problems since then. It's been very like on and off, on and off. But I didn't have really that many gallstone issues for a few years. And then I got on Ozempic and I was losing weight. I was losing weight before Ozempic, obviously. 
I was down like 106 pounds in total, which made my gallstones start acting up again. And I was told to stop taking the Ozempic because it was causing the rapid weight loss, which is like a mess because it's like, what do I choose? Do I choose gallstone pain or do I choose like, you gotta be healthy because you gotta lose weight? Like it's so confusing. Like what do I choose? What bad do I choose? What good do I choose? Because either way- it's You like, choose what's best for your health. But with weight loss surgery, if you have gallstone problems or your gallbladder isn't healthy or whatever it may be, they actually take out your gallbladder for you during weight loss surgery. It is an option. So that is probably what would happen. Um, pretty much 100% sure that they would just take out my gallbladder during weight loss surgery. And I know a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just get your gallbladder taken out right now? They will not do that. I've spoken to a few health professionals. I even have uh, talked to a surgeon about it. I they still don't like how she's talking about weight loss surgery because I feel like that means that she's just going to cop out and she's not going to try and lose weight unless they, you know, force her to lose weight for the surgery, which uh, I don't think that's going to go well. Because then they're going to have to go for, you know, with their diet and she can't even follow her diets. So. Out unless it's actively infected and it's because of my weight. They just don't want to put me under a intensive surgery and have me on anesthesia if there's really no reason for it obviously like i have gallstones that's not healthy but my gallbladder is functioning and that's what's important and they said that if it ever like stops functioning or if it's like running low on function then obviously it would be an emergency surgery but yeah but i mean, I mean that doesn't sound very you know relieving you know it's like how's your liver doing it's functioning it's like that doesn't sound good it's like bro it's are you okay or you mean it, what, you just get punched in the liver, bro? It's like, what? Shouldn't it be good? Not just functioning. Cards right now. All right, so now that the five questions are over, which is that's how much I want to do um, per video, by the way, is five questions. I used to only do three, but you know what? I like to talk now. Okay, so my weigh-in on January 1st, which was Sunday, is 520.0 on the dot, which I'm very glad about because last time you guys um, got a weigh-in for me, I was actually like 521 point really? something probably should have so looked i have not probably should have done my research like you know a good youtuber gained weight since then so i am fucking glad about that let me tell you i'm so glad about that so this year i am doing things a little bit differently i'm not going into it like oh january oh let's see let's hear these new year new year's res new year's resolutions did i say revelation in the beginning I almost said revelation, which makes me think I um, I said revelation in the beginning. Did I say revelation or resolution? I'm like, I'll know when I get made fun of for it in the comments. Calories. I'm just going to have fruit all day. Like, we're not doing that. This isn't the broccoli, chicken, fruit diet. Not happening. That's why I binge. That's why I fail. I am focusing hey. on... Hey. 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 Oh, my God. There you go, Amber. That is probably the smartest thing you have ever you have said this video. I binge because I don't eat flavor, di flavorly, di flavorly diverse food. There you Reality. go. Healthy, diverse and food. And that's how I'm going into it this year. So I do have a goal. I would like to weigh three ninety nine point eight before twenty twenty four. So that three ninety nine point eight. So that's what like. 122 pounds no no yeah 122 pounds 120.2 pounds this year it's doable because it's only two so that's about 10 pounds per month i mean it that's i feel like that's definitely doable if she sticks to a really good weight loss routine and maybe she gets like a nutritionist and you know actually goes out and exercises, but 10 pounds a month that that takes a, quite a commitment, Amber. Something pounds a week. I can do that. I know I can do that. So how am I going to do that? Every month is going to be different because just this January, I'm focusing on no take no takeout. I am I haven't had takeout. I know today's only That's that's the only preparation you're going into it. Month 1, no takeout. That's that's my weight loss routine for this month to lose 120 or this year to lose 120 pounds. Well, the month for the year. 
Really? I, I was thinking, you know, like I'm, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna go and get some cookbooks. You know, I'm gonna start making some good food. You know, not, not use so much garlic salt. You know, but man, no takeout. I remember last time she did this. I remember making the thumbnail for it. So like, I it just it's in my man. Just like I think I, like she'd failed like day three, and it was like for for like a KFC famous bowl or something like day four or something. Coming from someone who orders takeout like multiple times a day. Like man, you remember that that era, like the 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 KFC f uh, famous bowl, bowl in era. Twice. Even three times a day. And bowl in. But I'm doing good. We are on day four. So this whole January, I do not want to do takeout. I'm allowing myself to eat whatever I want. Oh, yesterday. Okay, well. Maybe you'll lose 12 pounds by the end of the year going like that. I'll just eat whatever's in my house. I'm allowing myself to. Yep. Maybe you'll lose 10 pounds by next year. Sonia, we loved it. We enjoyed it. We thrived. Um, I'm allowing myself to eat normal foods in normal quantities, like a normal person, and I use quotations like, Sem because I don't know semantics, what means, great. But I know that what I'm doing is not normal. You can tell how much she actually cares by how much she prepares. And yep, yep. I'm gonna lose 120 pounds. How? No takeout the first month. That's all I'm doing. And ordering takeout daily, multiple times a day. No so exercise routines. You know, no, no meal routines, no guidelines, you know, no, you know, outlines. You know, I'm not saying you have to, you know, write like 35 rough drafts on, you know, what to eat during the week. But, you know, at least, at least like making a meal plan helps or at least, you know, the normal side. But what is normal? I don't even know at this point. But doing yeah, something really strongly. What I'm focusing on in January is just like no takeout and allowing myself to eat things at home but come february i'm going to find new goals every day so so what what do you what like normal foods what a normal food to me is you know like you know having like you know like let's say you know like five you're know, like 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 three cookies you know after after dinner that's a normal thing for me because i i, I have went through the weight loss and now i'm at a healthy weight where i can you know do that but that's that shouldn't be a normal thing for you, you know. A normal thing for you should be a lot more healthier, you know, or you know, depending on a weight loss regimen. But the weight loss regimen is literally just no takeout. So what's gonna happen when you go to the store? You know, it's like, well, it's just gonna be like, oh, that looks good. Oh, that's for normal people. Normal people eat that in normal amounts. So I'll take some of that every month is just going to be a step closer to a healthier newer improved me new year new year berlin oh my god it's such a joke <laughs> i'm just trying to take things slower instead of going so quickly into like new diets and counting calories it's just it's not realistic for me we have all seen this play out before and it's just it's not gonna work so today is wednesday i have not weighed myself since sunday my dudes you guys know that i am like less weighing every single day type of queen don't, but don't do that don't do that. But I've decided I am not going to be doing daily weigh-ins, not even in my personal life, which is so weird because I noticed it just messes with my mind frame. And if all it's ironic because actually the opposite is 10 times worse for you. If you weigh yourself, you're just going to do my games on yourself that, you know, doing this loses weight when it's literally just all fluctuations. All I have to lose is like two point something pounds a week. That is all I'm going to be focusing on. And if I lose more than that, that's amazing. I love that for me. So I'm actually bullet journaling this year, which is so weird. I've always wanted to bullet journal. I did this all by myself. I didn't even need a ruler. That is some queen shit. So um, I literally Man, I would have gotten through like the second box and something would have distracted me. Today because I finally just got up my notebook in the mail. Um, so I haven't written in it yet, but I will show you guys this if you guys are interested. Um, this is my weekly weigh-in, so I'm going to write that in. And then we have this little jar where this is the pounds I've lost. So every single time I lose a pound, I'm going to put a little heart in here. And it's going to be like a bunch of different colorful hearts. And hopefully by the end of the year, there will be 120 of them. What, what happened? I mean, if you, you know, gain weight and then lose it again, you're going to put more hearts? Are you going to double count? 
I don't know, double count, Amber. And then this one is uh, the weight that I need to go to reach my goal. And down here I have, I did that, because you guys know, I did that. Um, so we're just counting down the 120 pounds. So every time I lose weight, say like I lose three pounds, um, I color in three squares. At least, at least she's doing this. This is a lot, this is more than, you know, just not doing takeout, but still. And my... I, she hasn't said anything about exercise. She's only said about dieting. Keep forgetting about that second part, but maybe we'll get there. The other bullet journal stuff, we can share that um, in a different video because this is just weight loss related. And I have a lot of different things that I have in my bullet journal that I'm really excited to show you guys. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hope you guys enjoy this video too. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, uh, you know, I'm going to be reacting to uh, the videos as they come out. Um, hopefully, if they come out, Amber, you know literally uploaded like two videos in the past like week and a half uh so all right well thank you guys so much for watching i always appreciate it you know even though i'm a terrible youtuber and i cannot keep to a uh, actual schedule but you know that's I, I know you know it's it's okay if i'm sick but even so before that i was not doing it so uh yeah so uh thank you guys so much i'll see you in the next one Ben Maller Show for this hour. We are in the air everywhere. The vast Fox Sports Radio Network. M